Hello YouTube, we're going to be recovering a rather controversial topic today which has been debated time and time again on videos, comments, and gun forums. It is the question whether blank guns are dangerous. If you do not already know the answer to that question, please watch this video and please, please, I beg of you, do not attempt any of the irresponsible things done in it because it may be prohibited by law in your area or you could sustain serious if not fatal injuries. Now, after that nagging little babble, we're going to go ahead and uh, show you the little toy we'll be using for the demonstration today. It's called a ROM Model RG3, and it's a German-made gun. They started making it in the 70s, I believe, all the way up until 2010 when the company was sold to Euromex and the model was discontinued. However, it's still readily available online, used or brand new, as some folks have uh, untouched stock up in warehouses. It uh, can set you back anywhere from 50 to $200 depending on the condition of the gun. The RG3 is made mostly out of pot metal with the exception of the spring and the synthetic grips here. Um, pot metal is not suitable for sustaining the muzzle velocities or forces the, of a real cartridge as it doesn't have steel barrels. It is only made to withstand hot gases and the odd piece of dust and debris here and there. It's double action only so the pulling of the trigger uh, cycles a gun and acts activates the firing pin or hammer, and the rounds don't chamber automatically. It has a three-position safety system, beginning with E, uh, which cycles the gun but doesn't activate the hammer, S, which doesn't allow cycling or activating of the hammer, and F, which is pretty self-explanatory. Um, I'll feed the six-round magazine through on empty mode, and just to show you how it works a little bit better. I always point... Um, a gun in a safe direction even if it isn't loaded so after about the seventh pull um, you have your trap door that opens up back here and your clip uh, is able to be dumped out and you have a little bit of a poker here at the back which is convenient because you can poke out your um, jammed uh, blanks that get stuck in your magazine the magazine is uh, horizontally loaded which is a little bit weird but uh, there's no reason for it not to at the same time because it's only uh, a gun uh, essentially for making noise um, I'll show you the a view down the mechanics of the gun now. Um, oops, try and open the hammer here, the little fake hammer. And um, at the top of the chamber, if we can get a good view of light down here, we can see um, some slots at the top. And um, that is for gases to expel out the sides of the gun, as I understand, as to not build up too much pressure in it. And uh, in the middle, you can see the firing pin or the hammer, which is like a little roundish thing, which fires the blanks upwards uh, in the middle of the gun and on an angle and out the barrel. Um, This particular gun takes a 6mm flow burn ammunition or a 22 caliber crimp blanks, which are essentially the same length and diameter. These little guys uh, produce hardly any kickback, and their noise isn't as deafening as other blanks can be, which can be useful for uh, many, many things, all the way from starting a race to a prostitute pistol, possibly, in a little movie uh, or production you're making. Now, I want to show you um, up close here a 22 crimp blank that I have. And uh, you can see that they're nowhere near the size of a 22 short round or 22 long round for that matter. And therefore the magazine definitely won't support a live round um, of that size. Other types of blank guns that work more accurately like modern firearms like the 9mm are designed with barrel plugs, misaligned barrels, and smaller cartridges to discourage people from loading live ammunition to the, into them. Now it's not impossible to do it. People have done it before with barrel swaps and a lot of machines machining, something only a licensed gunsmith should attempt. There are also cruder methods of adding BBs to higher caliber blanks like the 9mm and 38s after removing the barrel plug. All of these things could potentially be extremely illegal and extremely stupid, because like I said, pot metal, like this gun is made out of, is not made to hold up uh, 
hold up. It's not designed for that. Blanks just contain, contain uh, some gunpowder and no projectile, hence why they're crimped at the end. Now, that isn't to say blank guns don't fire anything. It's a myth that these things are completely harmless because they do not fire projectiles, or they're not designed to, at least, um, because there is uh, hot gases emitted when, when fired at a short range from the barrel, as well as possibly small particles of... Um, of gunpowder or even small particles of this and I don't think you would want that inside you it doesn't uh, sound um, um, pleasant at all um, the RG uh, 3 which I have is rather notorious for shooting out random crap out of the barrel as it's an older model and the barrel does not have pl a plug and you should always be aware of these things when handling one I've also heard horror stories of things lodged in barrels causing the gun to explode or even causing objects to dislodge at velocities and forces of a bullet, of, so that's above 500 FPS and around 6 joules or more. And um, these cleaning rods are often um, things that can get, get uh, lodged in the barrel and forgotten about and then shot out later and uh, they, can, they can even kill somebody um, if they're shot in a really... Um, really unfortunate place. So um, both ty types of ammunition, blanks or real um, rounds, are, to, com are, are uh, to be considered just as dangerous as each other, and um, they should be treated as such. The only appropriate projectiles that uh, my RG3 is supposed to shoot are actually flares. And now this is the flare attachment which screws into the end of the gun like so, and then the flare is inserted in, and then it's ignited with a single um, 22 blank or a 6 millimeter flowbert and um, they they're used for things like uh, marine signaling uh, military drills and uh, just plain amusement when when uh, fireworks are allowed in your area so now that we have an idea of what these things are and what we'll be using um, for a victim today, muhahaha, we'll go ahead and talk about what we're going to do for the experiment. Today we're going to be firing this one into some fruit, which has been done before, but we're also going to be taking it a step further. We're going to be finding out just how deadly projectiles can be when fired out of it. First off, we'll be using the flare attachment here because it looks like a bit sturdier made uh, than the gun's metal, don't quote me on that, to load a 22 steel BB in there, uh, wadded in some paper to allow escape of the air around the sides. Hopefully it doesn't flower out hilariously, you know, like in the cartoons, or even worse, explode out in all directions. <laughs> After that test, we're taking it a step further than that, and loading uh, uh, another steel BB, uh, 22 BB, directly into the barrel, sort of like a classic flintlock pistol, without all the gunpowder stuffed in the barrel because it would be that would just be uh, stupid. Just to let all of you fun killers know beforehand, we aren't going to have our heads, limbs, bodies, what have you not, anywhere near this experiment. Instead, we're going to secure it in a vise, then activate the trigger with a string pull from a safe distance. Again, do not try to copy what we're doing here. You could be busted by the police for it, or you could uh, get some serious ass injuries. This is solely for the purpose of demonstrating how dangerous these guns can be. Thank you and let's go uh, shoot some shit in video 2. <laughs> 